Hello citizens, welcome from 3.22 live star citizen. My 890 jump has survived. I bought it last patch and with help of my friend Nesho, so I thank you this time from bottom of my heart and finally I have this ship for me. Today we are going to do some bunker missions with our 890 jump and we will take Anvil Pisces with us. So we will try to live a few days in this ship, test it how it will be to live in 890 jump. And the first day will be bounty hunting, but in bunkers and orison platforms. So let's go and let's have fun. So what are the rules of our living in 890 jump? Well, you can do it in a, like in a real world. If you had a huge yacht, you can probably buy anything that you want. So you, we will bring everything that we need with us to the ship, but we will have to log in and log out from the ship. Also, we will set up respawn point inside of the ship. If we die, we will respawn inside of our huge yacht. So let's get started. Here we are on the bridge of our beautiful 890 jump. And this thing is massive. Wow. I have a lot of videos about 890 jumps, I will try to link them somewhere so you can watch them, if you want to. Alright. Now we have to request undocking. Okay, a launch procedure is initiating. So first thing that we will do is grab our Pisces. Okay, we are free. There's our Pisces waiting for us. I'm blocking everything with this ship. I always wanted to do this. To live in an 890 jump. Finally, I have a chance to do it. And with a new 3.22 that seems that very stable. I think it will be a very interesting experience. Alright, we'll open everything. I hope we don't get some guest that we don't want on the ship. We need a helmet on. Now let's transfer some ammo, some weapons, some utilities. Filter this. We don't have any clothing. Okay, we will find something. We have only one undersuit, and we have quite a few armors. But I don't think I'll bring any of them. We are not taking much. We will try to collect as much as we can doing our missions. Now let's go and take our Pisces with us. The quickest route would be at the side of the ship yes there's the Pisces wow look at these guys this thing is massive. The Star Citizen ships are truly amazing. And the graphics and the fluidity. Everything runs so smooth. This is a very nice server that I'm currently on. When we are for now we will take Pisces because it's the best ship for doing bunker missions because it had a medical bed. But for our other missions, we will take some other ships with our huge 890 jump. Fast thing. 
Oh, we have so much space. Let's put our ship here. That's quite nice. So again, the quickest route is through our docking port. Oh, I like this. Wow, look at this design. I really feel like I'm flying around the Enterprise. These smooth lines really gives me the vibe of Star Trek ships, which I really like. Don't get me wrong, I love the Star Wars ship and also Star Citizen, but Star Trek ships are for me much much more nicer and that is why I really love origin ships it seems that when you open the door in 3.22 they stay open so which is really cool you don't have to go around and close them all the time Alright, there are some more ships here, and there we go. Wow, guys, this is something special to watch. Storing ship inside of your ship. This is what the Star Citizen promised. Wow, what are those small ships doing there? Let's mess with them. Oh, there's a broken reclaimer there also. This is cool. Hello little dudes. What y'all doing there? <laughs> wow. Crazy. That's nice. Well, enough of fun. Let's get out of here. I love this. Wow. 890 jump is massive, guys. Wow. I have no words to, ex to, to describe this experience. When I'm flying with 890 jump, I truly am feeling like I'm in Star Citizen. Can't believe that I finally own it inside of the game, and also that it survived an update. Most of the times, all my best ships get deleted, but this patch, I really, really had luck with it turn off our quantum drive and let's go to our security post man this looks awesome wow with 890 jump I just love to take everything slow and enjoy the star citizen and this is what the game should really look like casually playing and enjoying with or without your friends and I really think that this ship can serve as my home during next few missions I hope only that they have fixed that bug of not spawning inside of your ship when you log out we will test that in the next video because we will wake up in our 890 jump hopefully Truly amazing. Okay, now we have to turn around to stop the ship. Nice. Wow. Damn, this ship needs 
a lot of energy to stop its inertia which is absolutely crazy if you think about it how huge and massive this ship is and just casually flying in a, inside of the atmosphere all right this is where we will park our ship above the lake wow this is crazy now engines we should keep on do i have helmet yes now let's go and set up our wrist point point inside of our beautiful ship let's lie down easily regeneration transfer input confirm if we die now we will respawn inside of our 890 jump okay wow this is amazing i think this is the best of the part of the 890 jump having its own medical bed and when and if the 600i gets this it will be amazing gameplay because a little bit smaller ship is easier to carry around all the time and also you have a respawn bed let's go almost thought that the 890 jump has a gimbal mode I said to myself what but now I see it's our little Pisces now where's our mission oh guys this is crazy look at this can you believe this this is the best part of leaving your huge mothership in air and flying down i hope in the future they add a tracker to your ship so you can leave your ship in atmosphere and go down with a small ship and finish the mission Oh my god, look at that, guys. This is amazing. Wow. Let's go. Most of the time I use FS9, but now the FS9 has been reworked. Less ammunition and not so strong like before. So let's test the Gallant Rifle. Also, we will take some stuff with us, everything that we can. There you go. America, you don't need so much. Are there any ready boxes here with the weapons or ammo or cool armor? No. Wait, why do I have only 30? Oh my god, I bought the wrong ammunition. What do I have there? I hope this is not bugged. I bought an ammo for the calendry and this is a cardinal rifle. Yeah. We have to find another gun. Alright, we have taken them out. Let's go inside. Grab one of their guns. Equip. I want this. There we go. Now let's join them. Oh my god, this is all out of war. Oh, nice. Damn, they are shooting well. Finally, a gallant rifle. Now I am stacked. <laughs> In 20 seconds, 27, the next wave will come. 
I'm so happy and relieved that the bunkers are working again. I really love that doing. Okay. One down, seven to go. I have that cops already. Oh my god. Damn. They are oh my god, they didn't suppress some fire, look at this. And the server is working. Second one. And look at the guards, they are also doing their work fine. They are not standing like idiots all the time. I think they killed that guy, yes. Oh shit! Where did he shoot at? Whew. I really scared myself there. The police is very dangerous here because they are shooting and they can kill you too. In the way. One less. Oh, I like this gun. Fast and nimble. Will I have enough? Oh, shit. fine. Arc pistol rework is quite nice. Done. Ooh. It took a lot of ammo. Someone is shooting like crazy. Damn, this looks so realistic and smooth like butter. Oh shit, he got me. Come on, it's too slow. But I have to use it. I have another gun. Let's regroup. Oh, they keep you on the edge. Fine. There we go. We have to be careful. Damn, they are precise. Ooh, I already have a lot of damage. Okay. This proves really challenging when the server FPS is high. I think this server FPS around 20. Okay. One less to worry. Oh, the big one. Fine. Where's the last one? That was a bug. Fine. Now let's take what we need. And what we need is that armor over there. Come with us. Look at this heavy armor. Cool. This looks awesome. I think I have to move to Hurston to collect those beautiful Artemex armor that I have right now. I only have two more. Now we have everything. Go away. Alistair. Now let's patch up, patch ourselves up. We need medical care, treatment, and treat our injuries. 
fine. We are good as new. The technology of Star Citizen. Imagine if we had this in real life. That would be awesome. Regenerate your parts. Gunshots, broken legs, arms. Wow. Where's our jump? Wow. It waited for us. Look at this. Let's close and admire this. Imagine how much shooting this would need. Checking fire. Wow, guys. There's a landing pad. So we can break one smaller and one bigger ship or There is no strong wind on a yellow. This is amazing. Damn, this is huge ship. Let's go back. This is a little bit too high for me. Let's go down. This is absolutely amazing. So, now move all to our vehicle. And we will take also our armor off so we can transfer the new one. Ooh, this is a fine armor, guys. Look at this. We don't want all that armor walking around. After all, we are living inside of a huge ship. I think this is amazing opportunity to test it and to live wow look at this open glass ceiling sun inside of our ship imagine looking at that planet from your ship and then actually be able to fly there and sun wow What's that station over there? On it, just reflection. Crazy. Damn, I love this game. I'm not talking too much because I'm just taking all this in. Look at those views. This is fine. Now let's move our ship. Push the engine button to turn it off. Oh my god.
Luckily the ally doesn't have strong gravity and we can easily escape the gravitational pull with our huge ship. But beautiful. Let's put the quantum drive on. Let's go to OEM.6 Damn This looks amazing guys There we are Now we can actually turn off the engines quantum and we can lose our bad luck and just like that finish the first day of our trip the next day we will visit Orison platforms and also we'll collect the second ship in our day three and do some bounty missions so join me in our next adventures Look at this view. This is so cool. There's a little bed. Alright guys, what do you think about living in 890 Jump? Would you like to do it? How do you like this amazing ship? And don't forget to join me on our next adventure. And until then, don't forget to subscribe and like. Have fun out there citizens.